Prime Minister Modi's visit to the G7 is likely to work at two levels. One that could very well be impressive and imposing. The other could also be so, but is a little more uncertain, a little more tricky. Broadly, the first will be at the formal multilateral level. The second, through some bilaterals that could prove challenging. Some possible bilaterals, oddly enough, could get sticky even if they do not take place, as with Prime Minister Trudeau of Canada. Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra confirmed at a briefing that a bilateral with Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni has been confirmed. That always was going to take place. He offered no word, no confirmation on other bilaterals. These will be discussed and arranged ahead of the visit and, of course, through the course of the short visit. The Foreign Secretary did not indicate in response to a specific question whether a bilateral with Trudeau would take place, but he said that the issue with Canada remains its support to violent anti-India groups. He pointed out that India has just concluded a massive exercise in democracy, suggesting clearly thereby that India does not need sermonizing from Canadian leaders on democratic rights. And that bilateral with Trudeau, if it happens, would be certainly the diplomatic equivalent of a punch-up. Far more sensitive, far more significant uh, would be the bilateral with President Biden. And we have some indication already that this may prove difficult at a level. President Biden had called to congratulate the Indian PM on the start of his third term. And that's when the scheduled India visit of the U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan came up. It certainly was brought up by President Biden, hardly likely to have been raised by Mr. Modi. Officially stated, Sullivan's planned visit is intended to push cooperation on matters like global security, the Indo-Pacific, uh, emerging technologies, but that, without doubt, cannot be all. The urgent new push to Sullivan's visit, twice postponed in February and then in April of this year, would suggest a more vigorous U.S. pursuit of a response from India on the Pannu indictment issue. India announced an inquiry, promised an investigation, but there is little visible result of an inquiry or investigation, and U.S. patience over that could well be running out. India has been soft peddling on that issue. The U.S. is now certain to push for quicker steps. That leaves then statements on multilateral issues of importance, as the Foreign Secretary said, matters of importance to India and to the Global South. India has been building itself up as a champion of the Global South with considerable success, but really those matters, significant as they are, are not going to be the sticky issues, the thorny matters, the real issues where diplomacy will be required and where tensions are building up are those two transatlantic bilaterals.